Yo well, folks, he's the nine's moved on to sunny Burnt Island, I'm glad to report. And I'm glad to report also on this beautiful plaque to the Burnt Island's people. Some famous people came out of Burnt Island. You can read this, read this at your leisure. It'll take too long to read them all out. Beautiful day today. There's one at the bottom that might interest me right enough, David Danskin. Born in Burnt Island, founder and first captain of Arsenal Football Club. There's one for you football historians. William Dick, founder of the Royal School of Veterinary Studies, Edinburgh. I've certainly heard of that one. Didn't know the chap came from Burnt Island. Some very famous names. Not many of them jump out to me, but... The one or two certainly do. Coming to one just... Just at the bottom here. Robert Pitcairn. Born in Burnt Island, discovered Pitcairn Island in 1767 while a midshipman on HMS Swallow crossed at sea age 17. What a tragedy that is. We certainly heard of Pitcairn Island. I have no idea the chap came from Burnt Island. James Robertson. This Mary Somerville. Somerville College, Oxford. Perpetuates, perpetuates her name. I'm a great one for watching University Challenge. Never get many questions, right? But maybe that's where I've heard of Somerville College from. In fact, I watched it the other night there and got one question. Not bad for half an hour. So there you go, there's some famous people from Burnt Island. Hope that interests the historians amongst you. There's another wee plaque that I just spotted there. These links were granted to the Borough by Royal Charter of James V. James V wasn't a bad lad. I'm sure it was a Royal Charter from James V in Falkland where I was this morning. I like these Royal Charters, old James. Let's see if you can read this plaque. This is a, oh, this is a good one as well. A birthplace of achievement. You can just read this at your leisure. Have a wee look to my right. See if I can tell you anything else. No, nope, just let you read it for yourselves, I think. There's one there. Charles I. 1633. The ship sank. Oh. The divers are out every now and again looking for that. I wonder if I'll ever come across it. The history. World's first roll on roll off ferry by its trade through here in Grattan, 1850. Great stuff for such a such a small town. Didn't expect so much history to be packed in here. The founding fathers here. You can pause that and read it. Burnt Island bread. There's a couple of arms. Cracking big plaque this. A lot of people, a lot of places should have this. Let the visitors know what's going on. So there you go. Nice bit of history for Burnt Island for you. It's got bird watching. It's got the indoor swimming centre. I remember when I was a lad that was an outdoor swimming centre. I can assure you. Baltic. I think it was just seawater they, they just shipped in. Absolutely freezing. Over the wee beach. I used to come here as a lad, my dad and my grandparents. Nice sunny summer's day, great place to come. I know palm trees a lot. So there you go folks, Burnt Island. Well worth a visit. If you're over at a loose end on a Saturday or Sunday, get yourself down here. Packed with history.